That's all people are ever going to see. Mew. Oh, now it's doing something. Okay. Mew! I guess it's ready now. Hi, everybody! <laughs> we were a little bit bad today. We uh, decided to... <laughs> what is your problem? Everything! We decided to make a little trip over to Ollie's. Uh, if you don't know what Ollie's is, it's a store that deals with closeout items. So, it, kind of a big lots type place, only yeah. bigger. Um, we're only going to show you some of the stuff we bought. We're, we're going to do a book haul and then we'll do like a snack taste test thing in a different video. Um, I, mean, I got a rug for my bathroom, which I mean, you probably don't really want to see. It's not that big a deal. Eh. I, like a box of cereal, you know, stupid stuff. But um, obviously, a few books. This isn't even all of them. This, this is shit, what I can hold. This shit's the highlight right here. All these. Uh, that's all the these highlight. Things. That's the last one we'll do. Yep. And the other bag of books is behind you. So. <sighs> that's heavy. <laughs> so let's start with this stack. This is The Princess and the Fangirl. It's one of the sequels or companion novels. I'm not sure if it's a sequel or a companion. I think it's a companion to Geekerella. Uh, this tag says 1614. Was 1899. 1614. They sold it to me for 299. Good price. So, you know, we get some good is. deals at Ollie's. Yeah. And I've been wanting to read this for a while. Um, I loved Geekerella, so I'm sure I'm going to like that. It's a spin on um, Mark Twain's Prince and the Pauper. Then I picked up three books from the Folger Shakespeare Library. We got The Comedy of Errors, The uh, Two Gentlemen of Verona, and Henry IV Part One. Dollar ninety nine a piece. I didn't think that was bad at all. They're normally ten bucks a piece. So Yeah, it's worth it. You know, it, and it gives me, you know, some Shakespeare I don't have already. So, yeah, I'm happy about that. Got a few cookbooks. Oh, boy. Not like I like cookbooks or anything. I want, should we add in the pile of cookbooks that you found the other day? Oh, yeah. brought me? They're sitting on the bed out there. No, these did not come from Ollie. When these did. These are, but we'll the, do the Ollie ones first, but, and yeah. then we'll... The other Show one. you the other ones. Okay, this one is Awesome Coconut Milk Recipes. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, tasty ways to bring coconuts from the palm tree to your plate. I just thought this looked interesting, and I know you can use coconut milk for a lot of different things. Um, curries and pina coladas, obviously, and <coughs> desserts and main dishes and just all kinds of goodies. The Jim Beam Bourbon Cookbook. 70 recipes and cocktails to make with bourbon. Yes, please. I'm a whiskey girl. <laughs> uh, crock pot slow cooker recipes. Oh, this is more of a spiral bound on the inside. So that's kind of cool. That way it'll lay flat when you're ready to cook. Oh. Shepherd's pie in the crock pot, really? Eh. Never thought to do that. I do it in my... Um, skillet, my cast iron skillet, and put it in the oven. Yeah, there's some chicken parmesan with eggplant. I'm not an eggplant person. That just struck me kind of funny, because if it's chicken parmesan, you know, why is it, why are they saying it's made with eggplant? But this one was only $2.99. Jim Beam was $4.99. Coconut one was two ninety nine, so you know I think I did well book wise. Uh, this is Robert Irvine, Impossible to Easy, one hundred eleven delicious recipes to help you put great meals on the table every day. Um, Food Network was twenty nine ninety nine. They sold it for five ninety nine. So yeah. Um, I like some some of the things he does on a restaurant impossible 
Uh, this one is Mixtape Potluck. Mixtape Potluck. A cookbook by Questlove of The Roots. Um, you know, you probably know him if you watch The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. And this was three ninety nine in Dinner Party for Friends, Their Recipes, and the Songs They Inspire. It's got a whole bunch of names on the back here. Is there anybody I recognize? It's Carla Hall, she's a, a well known chef. Uh, Fred Armisen, comedian, musician. Martha Stewart. Yeah. Uh, Padma Lakshmi is a well known chef. Um, 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 um. I guess you could Maya put, Rudolph, she's on TV. Well, I guess you could put. Lily Singh's uh, a, a comedian. Huh. Zoe Deschanel, Marissa Tomei, some God actresses. Damn. Amy Poehler, Natalie Portman, Jessica Seinfeld, and that's Jerry Seinfeld's wife. Huh. Ashley Graham. <laughs> uh, Jimmy Fallon. And obviously, <clears throat> like that's a different Ashley Graham than the one I'm thinking of. I always think of the one from Resident Evil. Yeah. Resident Evil 4, the one you have to Q-tip? save. Q-Tip? That's a rapper, isn't it? Uh, it sounds like it. Stanley Tucci, he's an actor. He's also a foodie. Hmm. So I, I'm curious about this. Oh, this is cool. Huh. The end papers are really neat. That is so cool. Huh. I read uh, Quest Love's history of music or whatever it was called it, it had a purple cover it's something about music history and it was really interesting yes yeah, the first one i looked at was smoked salmon i'm not a salmon person plantains well i think it's neat that these are actually like a it's like a potluck the recipes are from all the different people listed on the back huh that's kind of neat. I love that. Because people aren't going to give you recipes they think suck. They're going to give you ones they think are great. Yeah. And then this one is Marcus Samuelson, The Rise, Black Cooks and the Soul of American Food. Uh, originally $24.98, and I got it for $6.99. I think this is the most expensive of the cookbooks that I bought. Not like I couldn't have bought more. Um, but this it has some of his recipes and then it's from other black cooks and chefs and things and um, I thought it sounded interesting and I think Mike Marcus Samuelson is an interesting person so um, ugh. should we do the non Ollie's cookbooks yeah I guess but have a whole fucking cookbook category. Yeah, we'll just do the cookbook category here. And I'll right. continue on with whatever. So it where is. did you get these? So I was going out one night, um, cause the yard sale is coming up soon, and they're accepting donations, whatever. And a lot of these they like to throw out in the dumpster for no fucking reason. These are perfectly fine. And he's a, and you think, you know, and they always say, oh yeah, it's a bunch of old people that don't know. These old people like to eat. These old people like to, you'd think they'd keep these. If not, you know, for the yard sale, for their own personal use, put it in their kitchens and shit. No, in the dumpster. And I'm like, really? Yeah, they're really bad about throwing stuff out. Yeah. I, I always have to check during yard sale season, especially... Because multiple times I've found video games. I found a fucking Xbox once, okay? I found a 360 and a, and a really good starter set of games to go with it. And I'm like, it's mine now. Okay, so this little segment is not Ollie's, and then we'll go back to Ollie's. Yeah. Okay, this is Creative Cook's Kitchen. And it's like a notebook. Maybe they threw this out because you can't open it? There it goes. Oh, yeah. oh, it's got a little thing so that it doesn't flip open on you. Yeah, it's one it of the three okay. binders. But it's one of those, I think, we had something like this. It was through, um, oh, who was it from? No idea. Whatever it was, it was like a series of notebooks, and they sent you every month a selection of recipes to put in it. 
So that, that's what this looks like it could be. There's like different groupings of recipes. Orchard peach preserves. That sounds good. I like peach preserves. Yeah, that's the only thing in that category. <laughs> so that's what this was. Is one of those that every month they'd send you yeah. a selection of recipes. That's probably why they pitched it. Yeah. Is because it's not complete. Yeah. But there's still some there, so it to me it's worth it. Yeah. They could have put a quarter on there. I would have bought it. Yeah. Um, good housekeeping, one dish meals, easy and delicious recipes. I don't know. It looks fine. Yeah. It's a small book. Again, they could have quartered it. But I mean, because I know a lot of books they yeah. have. At the yard sale are 25 cents, so... Light cooking desserts. Healthy, low-fat, and delicious. Whatever this is on the front looks good. It looks like some sort of meringue, maybe. Yeah. That looks good, too. At some point, somebody was trying to sell it for $6, it looks like. Huh. I think that's too much, but... Yeah. You know, 50 cents. Yeah. Lemon meringue pie, cheesecake. I'd say it would depend on the Drink length. Color, apricot crumb squares. Those look good. I If if the book <coughs> is big, maybe like 50 to a dollar. But if it's kind of small or something like this, yeah, 25 cents is fine. You know, something like this, 25 cents would be fine. So it's not like they wouldn't get sales out of it. You know, that's the thing that was on the front. Fruited meringue heart melba. I thought it might have been meringue, so. Yeah. I don't love meringue. Okay, and then there's a couple. Magazines. Magazines. Eat better, feel great. From the editors of Relish. You can get these at the Dollar Tree. So I've picked up some. I don't know if I had that one, but I've picked up some of those. Yeah. Uh, food and Family, Deliciously Simple Every Day. I used to get this magazine, and then they just stopped sending it. So I don't know if it was, they stopped publishing. Here's another one of those. But they're always full of really good recipes. Uh, cooking for Two, this is another one of those dollar store ones. Uh, Taste of Home, Cook, Share, Celebrate. These are expensive for what you get. Yeah, this was a five ninety nine for this little magazine. <laughs> you can pickle anything, we'll show you how. Yeah, no shit. Just just grab some pickles and put it on whatever you want to put it on. There. That's not what it means. Uh oh. Uh Taste of the South. This one was four ninety nine back in two thousand nine. This caramel cake looks good. Might have to make that someday. See, I love this kind of stuff. Outer Banks Cuisine. Easy to prepare recipes from North Carolina's Outer Banks. Keepsake Edition. If you stop jumping around, then it won't fall, dude. Smoked chicken with famous Q sauce from North Carolina Outer Banks. This is an apple cider vinegar based barbecue. That's our kind of barbecue, dude. Yeah. We used to go to a place here that did barbecue, and they closed up because of COVID. Yeah. Um, which is a shame, because they were so good. And my favorite of their sauces, they had like three or four different sauces, was the Carolina barbecue. Oh, yeah. And it was a vinegar-based. Oh, was it good? Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of different kinds of cake. Rum runner pie, peach cobbler... Microwave pe peanut brilla. Yeah, that's the only way to do it, man. So much easier. Peanut sugar, corn syrup, soap, butter, vanilla, baking soda. That sounds about right for... Bread pudding. Oh, I love bread pudding. Rice pudding. Love rice pudding. Yeah, there's good stuff in here. Yo Nana's. Oof. The healthy dessert book. And then they say it in French, and then they say it again in 
Spanish. Huh. But we don't have a Yonana, so eh. I don't know if we'll be able to do much with these recipes. But if we ever did get one, that would be a... Insert awesome. one frozen banana. Add quarter cup frozen blueberries. Alternate remaining ingredients. Okay, so then you put in some more bananas, and then you put in some more blueberries, because you're making blueberry yonana. <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, if you have a yonana maker, this has some... Ooh, but that looked good. has some recipes that sound really good. I played with the, the thought of getting one, but as you can see, I didn't do it. Yeah. Uh, there is time to cook. Carnation evaporated milk. So I bet all these recipes are going to have something to do with that. Probably. Mini corn dogs, potato salad, lemon dip for fruit and cake, couple kinds of cake, chicken, yeah. This, I, I love these kind of things. This is like the recipe you find on the back of the can, you know? Yeah, pretty much. And I love that stuff. Alpha Bakery, gold medal children's cookbook. Well, wherever they got it from back in December of 2016, it was only 50 cents then. Huh. A is for apple crisp, and then it gives you a recipe for apple crisp. B is for banana bread. C is for chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, the good shit. D is for delicious drumsticks. <coughs> e is for elephant ears. Oh, yes, love elephant ear cookies. F is for fudge brownies. G is for giant gingerbread kids. That says it's cute. I love that it's an alphabet book and a recipe book. L is for lemon squares. M is for mud pie. Oh, wow. V is for veggie bites. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> if you would have eaten my dinner, you would have died. Yeah, probably. I've had broccoli with my dinner, and he was just like, ugh. And then here we have... A recipe card for Something. giant chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> this probably came out of one of those mailers trying to get you to sign up for something like this. Probably. Yeah. Looks like something they do. Okay, this isn't the same one, though. This isn't Time Life. But this is Time Life. Huh. Hmm. Put that in there. So that was the stack of cookbooks and things that he brought me home. See, I need another bin for cookbooks. Yeah. Where's your other bag of books there? Oh, yeah. Oh, good shit's in here. <sighs> now you'll see a vast difference in content here. <laughs> I guess we'll start from the top. And start from the top. Um, My Little Pony Equestria Girls. Wonder Colts Forever. The Diary of Celestia and Luna. Oh, boy. $1.99. Was $12.99. Marked down to eight forty two, And then their price was $1.99. Uh, Rainbow. Rainbow Dash Brings the Blitz. Oh, I'm sure she fucking does. Dollar ninety nine. Was nine ninety nine. Yay. Okay, this is My Little Pony Equestria Girls Canterlot High Stories. Huh. And that's just the regular one. I think. This is Beyond Equestria, My Little Pony, inspired by the movie. Yay. Fluttershy balances the scales. Well, she's good. You had to get a Fluttershy book. Yeah. He's obsessed with Fluttershy. Hence his name, Neko Fluttershy. Yeah. Uh, was nine ninety nine is paid a dollar ninety nine. This 
it's Pony Party. I think it came out of something because it doesn't yeah. even look like it would have been a regular book. Yeah. They charged us 99 cents for it because I questioned it because there was no yeah. sticker or barcode or anything on it. And the manager's like, how's 99 cents? I'm like, oh, whatever. Yeah. Uh, My Little Pony Friendship Journal. Quizzes, games, dream diary. Yay. Oh, Pinkie Pie and Twilight. My name is... Yeah. I am blank years old. I live with blank. My special talent is blank. Yeah. Pinkie Pie's Cupcake Extravaganza. Pinkie Pie just loves making cupcakes and muffins. Yeah. Blueberry, chocolate, strawberry, and lemon cakes are all Pinkie Pie's favorites. Yeah. Color in the muffins below. Trying out your own flavors and toppings. Oh, and there's even a um, recipe for huh. Pinkie Pie's simple recipe for delicious raspberry muffins. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. So does that make this a cookbook now? I have to put it in my pile? Yeah. Yeah. Unless you want to copy it somewhere. Just copy the pages that have cookbook thingies. Hmm. And this was nine ninety nine, and they charged two ninety nine. Probably because it's a little bit bigger. Yeah. My Little Pony Around Equestria. Seven books in one. Yay. Was eleven ninety nine. We paid one ninety nine. Twilight, Spy, Rarity. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Who is that? Oh, fuck. I think it's Bulk Biceps. One of the only few male characters in the entire fucking series. Oh, boy. This whole thing is obsessed with bodybuilding and shit. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't tell you who he is. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many Pinkie Pies. Oh yeah, that one episode. Yes, that was a great episode. Crusaders of the Lost Mark. Oh boy. <gasps> I get sleepy. Well, no wonder it's after midnight. Yeah. Well, while well, we're ponying, Sound Storybook Treasury. Doesn't work. <laughs> Three replaceable long life button cell batteries included. <laughs> <clears throat> Guess you're gonna have to try replacing them. Yeah. Either that or people have played with it so much it just doesn't work anymore. Yeah, that too. Nine My Little Pony Stories, 39 sounds. But I was thinking that'd be hilarious though. If I end up getting this thing, I've tried the Fluttershy one, and it sounded like a fucking ancient ass demon coming out of the book. Because I want to tell you something, these kind of things, once the batteries start oh, dying. Oh, you got a damaged one. Huh. I think that was the only one they had. Hmm. I'm not sure. But I think that was. But yeah. I think it'd be... Cause, you Manufactured know, in China. Everything is. But yeah, I think it'd be kind of hilarious. Because how these things work is when the Here batteries... Here the main six say. Rainbow Dash. Can't catch me. Fluttershy. Who wants a hug? Rarity. Fantastic. Pinkie Pie. Time for some fun. Applejack. And that, my friends, is what we call getting her done. Oh, boy. Twilight Sparkle. Friendship is a wondrous and powerful thing. Huh. I wish I could hear him say that. <laughs> huh. But I think it would be kind of hilarious, though, if, like... You paid $7.99 for that one. Ooh. And it doesn't even work. 
Rar. But yeah, it'd be pretty interesting. Was fourteen ninety nine? So pretty much half off. But yeah, I could just imagine, like to the point where when the batteries start going low, because with these kind of things. It sounds like a fucking ancient demon coming out of it when the batteries run low. Oh, well, it's dead now. Murderize that demon. I blame Fluttershy. Okay, and then there's the Guinness World Records Gamers Edition 2020 with a 14-page special Fortnite section. Woo! <laughs> well, that's 1999. We paid 3.99. Monster Hunter, Pokemon, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Resident Evil, Madden, Grand Theft Auto, Red Dead, Hashtag GWR Gamers, Sea of Thieves, Super Mario, Apex Legends, Minecraft, Call of Duty, Luigi, Spider-Man, Kingdom Hearts, Super Smash Bros, Nathan Drake, Xbox, Star Wars, FIFA, Master Chief, Sonic, Zelda. It's gaming at the highest level. 110% gaming. Oh boy. Weird how some of it is like just random names. Luigi, Nathan Drake, yeah, Zelda, Master Chief. Some of it's games. Yeah. And some of it is just random consoles. Switch, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox. Can you think of anything gaming related? Oh yeah, how about <laughs> <laughs> That's Detective Pikachu. There's Spidey. There's Mario. Yeah. That must be Nathan Drake. Yeah, bro. That's Minecraft, I think. Yeah, it's Minecraft. Nathan Drake? Uh, I think so, yeah. Either that or it's Fortnite. One of those two. Well, that's Fortnite, it's the battle bus over there. So that's Nathan Drake. Yeah. Anyway, there's that. Is that all of them? Uh, maybe. Now. <laughs> the one I am most excited about. And wish they would have had more volumes. I would have bought them. We have... The Annotated Sandman, Volume 4, which contains the Sandman number 57 through 75 by Neil Gaiman. Best thing about this one, I think, is that it's still sealed. Yeah, it's still sealed. It was originally $49.99. Got it for $12.99. Fuck yeah. I, I couldn't let it stay there. It needed a home. And I have this thing for Neil Gaiman. I mean... If he wasn't married, he'd give Nathan Fillion a run for the money. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. and we all know how fucking obsessed she is And with I'm him. obsessed with Nathan Fillion. <laughs> so, that's saying something. Those are two men who make my heart go pitter-pat. And I've actually met Neil Gaiman. Huh. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's uh, very married. It is what it is. I'd like I'd have a chance anyway. <laughs> but I, what I can say about him is he is really super nice and super patient. He was the uh, keynote speaker at a conference I was at. And after he did his speech, he said he would sign books. Well, the line, the hotel we were at, the line went from the table at the front of the room, the ballroom, all the way around the ballroom, out the door, down the hall. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and my friends and I were like, yeah, let's go to the hotel bar and, and get a drink while we wait. Because we knew that line was, wasn't going anywhere anytime quick. So about an hour or so later, we went to check where the line was. It was still down the hall. It was <laughs> like, okay. Went back, hung out at the 
bar a little longer. I'm sitting there reading a Neil Gaiman book that I wanted to have him sign. Because that was the year the uh, Graveyard book came out. Which is really great. I loved it. I've read it twice. <laughs> um, and they made a graphic novel of it. Which was kind of fun. And I think they're trying to make a movie of it? Huh. I think I saw somewhere they're making a movie of it. Which would be interesting. Anyway. Um, it's the year that that was published and won Newberry. So that was kind of neat getting to have him sign my copy of it. And he doesn't just scribble his name like a lot of authors. He draws you a picture. <laughs> he drew me a little tombstone with my name in it, like to Amy, and then he signed it. And like, that means a little more, you know? Yeah. He took the time to get to talk to you and get to know you a little bit. I mean, even though it was only a few minutes. But, you know, and he was fine with us taking pictures with him. And I took a picture of my friend Jess with him. I didn't, like, get in the picture, which I should should have. But Yeah. Um, but he's really nice. And he's really fun to chat with online, too. Uh, I don't even remember what the website was, but we could play music. And he'd, like, choose a song, and then everybody else would choo that was in the room would choose a song. So we'd have this long playlist. And the one time I, we did it, he gave us a theme of um, cover songs. Hmm. So I chose, uh, which one? Was it Smoke on the Water? No. We Will Rock You? I, don't, I chose a, a very well-known song, but by a group called the Red Hot Chili Pipers. Not huh. Peppers, but Pipers, who do bagpipes and, and all that. Bag rock. And everybody was just like, wow, that's really different. That's kind of cool. Because they'd never heard of them. I had just stumbled across them, and I thought, i got to share this stuff. Yeah. So that was kind of neat. Oh, he's very soft-spoken, which is kind of, you know, you don't want to be too loud because he's not loud. But yeah, he was really, really nice, and he sat and signed books for over three hours. Because by the time we finally got to him, it was three hours later, and there was still a line behind us. Damn. Because other people did the same thing we did. Waited until the line got down till it was all actually inside the ballroom. And then we got in line and then other people came and got in line behind us. So there was still this... He probably had another hour after he'd signed our stuff. <laughs> but he was real generous he, and he would let you have however many pieces you wanted signed. A lot of authors, are, you can have one thing or yeah. two things. He was like, oh, you got a whole stack of stuff? I'll sign them all. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people, though, and not just, like, authors. He re was really nice about it. And I've seen where he goes into, like, when he's in airports and stuff, he'll walk in to some of the um, little shops in the airports, and if he sees any of his books, he'll sign them. Huh. He has to sneak it, though, huh. because if they catch him writing in the books, then they get mad. Huh. He's the author. He's just autographing it. Yeah. Makes it worth more. Exactly. And, yeah, he's just... He, oh, he was so cool. I He impressed me quite a bit, obviously. The same event um, author, Chris Crutcher, was there, and he acted put out that people wanted him to sign stuff. <laughs> the, why the fuck were you there? What was the point if you knew people were going to want their books signed? Yeah. What was the point? If you didn't want to sign books, then you don't do an event like that. Exactly. Anyway, that's all the books. That's a big-ass haul. We haven't done one like that big in a while. Yeah, and that's not all we got. Because I just did a haul the other day, but it wasn't anywhere near that big. It was only, like, what, 10 or 11 books? Yeah, uh, one, maybe. Two. Eleven books. So <laughs> Yeah, that's the We got that we... just in your stack. Yeah. 
And that's not all we got. We got a couple more things that are not book related. Yeah, but we got what? Some Uno thingy. No, oh, this Uno emoji. Oh, god damn. Includes a special rule. Oh. Well, apparently, um, if somebody plays an emoji card, the their opponent has to make an emoji face. So my question is, what exactly is the face that you make when you get the poo card? You may as well just go to the right fucking, there. You may as well just go to the bathroom. Apparently, poo point. is the draw four for this. Everyone knows it's shitty to get a draw four card. Uh, you actually get the I card. I thought it, it looked like fun. But yeah, to get the actual card is fun and play it on people when, when you're the one that and has it. And then we picked up the Game of Life pop matic Trouble Game. Oh so, boy. they mashed up Life and Trouble. So I'm kind of curious how that works. Yeah, how good they got a whole section of Doom Slayer in this thing. And where the fuck is Isabel? Because <laughs> this was the 2020 edition. And I was. I need to put this out in the kitchen. Um, this is sheet pan dinner starter, lemon garlic. And it includes a sauce pouch and a seasoning packet. I've never seen it before. Other than listed in on the Ibotta app. But I never saw it in the store. And they had it. It was like 99 cents. So I thought, well, it's worth a try, you know. Always looking for something different to eat. And I like lemon pepper. Well, so much for that jar of cup of tea. Eh. I had to go through the whole list of containers, you know. So anyway, I think that's it for this video. Oh, yeah, and there's that Fluttershy thing. Oh, yeah, he found a My Little Pony of Fluttershy. Designed. It's like, it's first generation style. So I think we're gonna... Holy fuck! In this one... 20,139 video games! This guy... You're this, jealous. Yeah. This guy has the most games as of 2020. That they, that they are aware of. Yeah. There could very well be more <laughs> people out there. That but have... guess what? You owe me work. <laughs> Not new. I think I should hold the books hostage until you do the jobs. As you do a job, you get a book. Sounds fair, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're so weird. All right. I think we're done with this particular video. I mean, that that's a big, big book haul. Yeah. And yeah, the... library book sales coming up in a month. Oh, boy. We're probably going to have, like, two videos. The library one and the yard sale one, because that's, like, on the same day. Yeah. They always so... run it the same weekend, which is a pain in the butt, because you yeah. can't be both places at once. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> which means I'm going to crawl home from work. <laughs> At 8 in the morning, you're going to drag me over there to the yard sale. Yeah. And then, if I'm lucky, I'll get something to eat, and then we'll be at the book sale when it opens at 2 o'clock. Yeah, pretty much. It's going to be a long-ass day. Yeah. All right. So, um, I think we'll wrap this video up and then clear out some of this stuff. i got to move all this stuff so I can actually go to bed tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and we got another um, video after this And we, we're going to do another quick video. So I think we'll say bye. <laughs> Remember to do all the YouTube things. Comment, like, share, subscri subscribe. Ring the bell icon to be notified of future uploads if the YouTube gods should deem it so. And I think... <laughs> God, my hair is just... Okay. I look like a crazy woman. You are a but crazy I am woman. a crazy woman. Yeah, I knew you were going to say that. You're about um, to see we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.